Welcome back to a Till Dawn walkthrough. Brought to you by Peter Stolmeyer. I feel like I'm mispronouncing it, but anyway. As we last left off, we got introduced to the mystery game. I'm sorry, the high school students that killed the sisters indirectly. And we didn't get here. Well, we saw Josh in the the phone video at the beginning with that brilliant song, Old Death, being played. That was an actually really excellent song to play. This game has impressed me. It has. Not bad for Supermassive's first game? Wait, is this your first game? Now I gotta check it out. Excuse me a moment. While you look at Peter Stormeyer's facial features. Okay, give me a sec. I feel like this was their first game. Hold on. Thank God for Google and Wikipedia. Yeah, I know they're doing the... The Dark Pictures Anthology series. The first two didn't look all that great, but the From Ashes seemed like that was interesting. Eh, maybe. Depending on how many subscribers I get, the goal is a thousand. Or more. And depending on the views, the goal is four thousand. Or more. No, not four thousand views, like four thousand hours, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get my, get myself mainstream and all that. But yeah, uh, looking at them... What games have they done in the past? Oh, the Little Big Planet DLC that no one remembers, Egg Boys, or basically more Little Planet. Little Big Planet, they mostly do Little Big Planet. And Killzone HD. They're not really known for a lot of stuff, once I think about it. Oh, but they did do the Little Nightmares too, the Enhanced Edition. Wait, wait. It really, until Dawn pretty much made them a developer to that do horror games well. That's kind of odd after coming from a little big planet. A pretty much uh, adorable, create anything platformer game that's actually the first one's pretty good to a horror game. What a weird transition. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Well, I know what would make you the most anxious. John freaking Wick. Hmm. That's kind of Freudian. If I say woman wearing me, that makes me kind of, well, Norman Bates. But if I say men wearing me, that makes me a pansy. I mean, can I not choose either? I'm not really worried about either, but the game is making me choose. So what happens if I choose the other path? The, the possibilities of picking that. That's kind of awesome. I, I like that. Mmm... I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I'll do this one. Not intentionally. I just wanted to pick something. Oh, okay. So planes scare me or crowds scare me. Uh, crowds because, you know, there could be a cellular killer or just the unpredictability of people. But planes... They can go down, and all, and you know, they can go down. That's that, and all, throwing through or flying through a thunderstorm. That would do it too. But crowds. What's with the serial killer gloves? Okay, so drowning or heights. Drowning. I'm just doing this for the game, my. Ooh, yeah, uh, if I had to pick between rats and the snakes, snakes, freaking snakes suck. Okay, so knives or guns? That's not really good. What? So, Peter, you're... I know what you're afraid of, John freaking Wick. Who could kill you with a pencil? That you're using. Well, you're using a pen. 
or are you using the pencil lamp up again? I mean, they're both fatal. I I guess guns. It's pretty. Yeah. Wait, this is the same question. It still stakes. Such peaceful music. One of you two is going to talk about it. Scarecrows or clouds? Freaking clouds. I mean, we have Pennywise, Heath Ledger's Joker. God bless his soul. Um, we just got Ed. I watched a movie called Clouds. That cloud was creepy, like demonic. And with that smile, freaking clouds. I know Batman would not like clouds. Gore disgust me or crows? I'll say crows. But probably as a disturbing dog. Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Dude, you interrupted my train of thought. Try yeah. to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. That was a jump scare, and I did not appreciate that, Peter. Remind me to bring John Wick with me, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so spiders or snakes? Eh, we'll say snakes still. Even though I got bit by a spider. Not fun. Not fun at all. Needles or crows? Freaking needles. Can't really talk about something happening with some certain pandemic because of YouTube. Oh, okay, so between zombies or clowns. Freaking clowns still. Are you going to start on me again? Okay, so dogs or needles? Still needles. Okay, so storms or needles? Why does it keep going back to needles again? Is it because we are in a I can't say it because of YouTube? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, clowns, and needles. Yeah. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Is it because of the intermission? And, uh, but dude, you do a solid job. You're the best part of this game. What? Why are you showing me what happened? What choice does that make? All right, whatever. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. JC Voorhees. No! Shut up! Yes, I First know off, what happened. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that We'll never forget, for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back, and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Well, we have seen the soul. I tell you, this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Hi, Robbie Malik. That's Josh, played by a Cavi Award, Cavi Award winner, Robbie Malik. He's complex, he's thoughtful, and loving. That's that's all we get. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, 
You live here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. All right, so... Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that... No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. That's a good friend. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Yeah. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. I mean, hey, technically. Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Oh, wow, he totally has a crush on her. All right, so. Okay, so his relationship with Josh is increasing. His relationship with Ashley is obviously increasing. Uh, his charitable is increasing because he, you know, talked to his friend and asked how he's doing, even though he brushed him off because he doesn't want to talk about his pain of losing his sisters. Uh, basically curious, I guess, but the romantic is increasing because he's talking to Ashley. Hmm. I wonder why. Man, the graphics are actually well done for this PS4. This is also another reason why people buy the PS4. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Oh, dude. Okay, so I do, do I be your bro, or do I not agree with you? Darn it. Uh, absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? Like, wow. Could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Yeah, yeah? Oh, I should probably agree with that. I guess that would be sexist, but... I mean, there, he wants to date her. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Bro, that's a bro. Good, good looking out. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Yeah, it's up zero, I agree. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Hmm, that seems like a Chekhov's gun, as my me and my friend love to describe. Oh, this is so gonna be important. We're gonna have to open this to defend ourselves. Like I said, check cops gun. Look it up. Look. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. Uh, it's just a 
to turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. From well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, dude, the, you don't. The answer what? is no. That you don't. What? What are you talking about? There's millions of apps. Uh, well, eh, doesn't matter. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Hold on. This is why we need to have Sprint. I mean, wait, AT&T. Or Verizon? Wait, no, no, I, I wanted to explore first. Oh. Are you sure? Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah. yeah. You know, with the climbing up the rope. That's Jim. Whoa. Cliche. Did I do that? Yes. With your I, butterfly fight. I don't think fight. so. Butterfly fight. Here. Use this. Whoa, Chris. I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Yeah. Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, oh yeah. I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> Man, so be less, but... That's not how we were actually talking in the uh, present time, but... Do we care? No, just turn your brains off and enjoy... Enjoy this campy horror game. Oh, it's a totem. Oh. What color is it? What color is it? I mean, it is a totem, right? Come on. Oh! Okay, well, that's the last totem. Oh! So, it's, um, red! So, avoid fires in the near future, is what it's saying. That's a rat. Well, at least it's not snakes. God, I hate snakes. Alright, let's look around. That seems like a port plot device. So, what have we here? Well, let's read it. Okay, so... Blah, 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 blah. Why did the janitor try to burn the place down? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Starting like a typical horror game. Oh, oh, jeez. She really has full faith in the legal system? Okay, sure. Okay, so I'm guessing the horror is because Victor Milgram cast some curse on this cabin and tried to burn it because he was fired by the Hollywood producer being a total dick to him. It just seems like that's what's going on.
Mm. So it's a mystery slash horror slash quick time event. I'm so. Hmm. The camera is intentionally not letting me see. I don't like that the camera is just focused on, hey, what's huh? this? That's cool. Okay, so that must have been the... Oh, no, no, it's, uh, Josh and... Okay, the Washington lose. Okay. Or, oh, sorry, Washington Lodge. I could talk today. Yep, Hannah and, um... Uh... I forgot the name of the sister. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. That that's pretty much what's going on. Need to remain in balance. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Wow, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, that was intriguing. Now I kind of want to know where that goes. What was the story on that? I, now I'm curious enough to find out. Okay, Bob Washington. What's Josh's name? Last name again? Washington? Oh, so we're doing that cliche. How was that? Nothing good, Sherlock. Can we explore any other door besides the obvious door that closed? Nope. We have to open that room because of plot. I know how this goes. Do it for your crush. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Yeah, Chris. Because we... It, it would be you. Again, like we said, you're the shaggy of this universe. No one can take you seriously. Until you act, start acting seriously. Lot to explore in this very derelict lodge. Okay, well, we're gonna go naturally this way. Am I hearing whispers? I feel like I'm hearing whispers. That's kinda odd. Oh, wait, that's where I went. So let's go this way then. Okay. 
maybe it's Jason Graves talking. Guess we're going this way then. Hmm. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his move. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. Okay, that seemed... That seemed fishy. Okay, so they're talking about Victor. Yeah, the mystery man is clearly talking about Victor, and he tried to burn the house down. Okay, now that really is kind of added to the mystery that I'm intrigued to. Or a mystery game? I'm in. I'm so. Alright, well, let's explore the lodge, because it seems like important plot devices. Alright, well, obviously going up the ladder. Ladder, I mean stairs, wow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop here and we'll continue this. There's going to be more Until Dawn coming up in the future. So, avoid... I got nothing clever. Just stay tuned. That's all I got. Hmm.